Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man um, uh, run for Long War of the Chosen. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Uh, we're playing on uh, the highest difficulty with the better one version of the mod. It's month number five and boy oh boy, that is a brawl album of a month. We have already completed, I think, three, four, four or five missions. Most of them get um, more difficult as we speak, and now we're um, in for a really difficult decision. Basically, we have a top team here. Fury, Renvin, Mike uh, the Public, Bravo, uh, Taxman. So really high-class soldiers, nasty. Almost all of the prime team, plus um, a somewhat decent specialist uh, that'll help us out. But we are up against 35 plus enemies and I'm wondering if we should uh, boost the infiltration or if we're just taking on uh, that amount of enemies. Um, given that we only have six soldiers, we are able to evac in five turns, which lets me to believe if we're really running into a problem, I can still abort. So we're, we're trying to be a bit greedy here. Uh, we have a good team and I feel confident that we're not going to wipe in this mission. Um, plus, if we can pull this off, uh, this is probably going to be worth around a thousand, maybe a thousand five hundred supplies. Desperately needed to build up everything and equip us way better. So risk versus reward. Let's see how this turns out. Good. We landed in the middle of nowhere. Six people against a massive amount of advents, but we got high ground on our side. This here acts as a nice little vision barrier, vision blockage. So that's actually not too bad. To be honest, I was expecting far worse. We don't have a real scout, so that is what Fury is going to do. Essentially, let's see where the enemies are located. By the way, we have no concealment. Get us out of this situation. So there is no disadvantage in already being a bit cautious about what could happen. Yeah, I would like to take the positions over here, best case over here, because it's such a strong position to hold. Hmm, okay, how about we're carefully, very carefully advancing. All right, no one, that's good, good sign. Okay, we're. I would like to get Renman also a bit closer to the front line. Again, very careful. What's over there? The main reason why I don't want to really trigger anything is, is I fear as soon as we trigger them, on on it's basically on. Putting our specialist into cover at the back line. I don't want any problems with him. And again, we're, we're a bit clustered up. That's the only disadvantage. But although the enemies have taken reactions, I've not yet seen them essentially uh, use grenades when they when they are being discovered. By the way, in case I haven't mentioned it yet, it's a really bad design decision to let the enemies have a turn once they are immediately discovered. Kind of takes away the purpose of Overwatch. 
but whatever. So it is already slowing down quite a bit, which tells me there are a lot of enemies. I'll cut out all of the enemy turns, except something important happens. Is that a Chosen? Yeah, I knew it. Oh, of course. It must be the Assassin. Taking a look at her abilities, she can summon priests, is immune to explosions, and regenerates. Um, but she cannot touch Overwatch, which is good. She takes additional damage from close range attacks and is uh, susceptible to skirmishes, which we don't have with us. But we certainly can melee her. Okay, uh, I'm almost inclined to not engage with uh, a pack of enemies, but instead wait for the Chosen to engage on us. Nothing happened in their turn. We do have really excellent high ground cover over here. Phenomenal, that's good for a, uh, for a firefight. And I feel we might want to actually use the high ground to our advantage. Can't grapple into cover, so we will need to move. I'm being careful here. Like I said, we want to not pull a pack at the moment. Okay, that worked out well. Which means we're now going to slowly shift our forces all the way up here. Understood. Moving out. Putting our specialist into full cover right over here. And I would say we're just uh, waiting for the Chosen to engage on us. I don't know how far away she is, but I would probably guess it's around three turns until she arrives. Gives us ample time also to... Um, <coughs> sorry, gives us ample time to also prepare for our evac in case that is needed. Alright, nasty. Where do we put you? You know, I would say over here. It's not a bad idea. That gives us enough maneuverability. He defends the flank. That's good. So I'm currently trying to uh, kind of be out of line of sight. We don't want to engage anything that is uh, up here. There might be some enemies coming up um, via that route here. But overall we should be fine. Yeah, unfortunately there's not another great cover spot, so might as well position ourselves here for now. So. Renvin is not the best Overwatch uh, unit with his shotgun, so need to keep him central <clears throat> to make sure he's going to be available when the Chosen is, is going to come. Steadying weapon, just in case we're finding someone. And the rest is really overwatching. 
Like I said, it's probably going to take three turns until she's going to be here. Yeah, and that I think is the end of our plan to stay hidden. Looks like a group of six even. I've got eyes on an advent position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh shit. And we can already see that there's another pack back here. So we can't fully engage. Well, shit. It was looking great until until very recently. Okay, we can take down that drone. Oh, we're taking it over. That's an option as well. Eight protocol for our sniper to make sure the taxman does not get hit. He's in a pretty exposed position. And let's see what our chances are for the drone. Pretty good chances to control it, so I'm going to take it over. Oh, barely did, did not make it. So close. Well, we can still kill it. I mean, would have been nice to control the drone. Need to be very careful. I definitely don't want to trigger the second pack, right? Okay, so moving over here shouldn't trigger any overwatch. Great. Rapid deployment for the win. Gives us that free action that we were looking for. Essentially removing all of the overwatch and disabling them. Two, four, six. Great. That worked like a charm. And on top of uh, which, I'm going to hopefully kill the drone. Well, due to the grazing shot, it didn't fully work out. But I think we're on a good way. Six to seven. And that means 50 50 to kill it. Unfortunately, we're not rend rending it automatically. By the way, um, how could I get 
to a good position to kill this uh, mech. I think this here is a decent position. The problem is we need to move away first. And this will only work um, if we move with Fury. That, however, triggers the Overwatch, and I wanted to move first with uh, Renvin to actually trigger the Overwatch. The other alternative is we're dead eyeing and killing the mech first. What's the most important target? Purifier is definitely not important. Sentry, so and so. I mean, the heavy stun lances definitely suck, so killing them would be advisable. But they are also in full cover. So it's difficult to get them. Plus they do have 10 defense, which even makes it more difficult. Now I don't want to take any chances. Texman needs to kill someone. We could let him kill the mech. Nah, the reason why I don't want it is I want uh, death from above in order to kill the drone. Or... Like what's his best chance to kill someone down there? Purifier, very high chance to, to kill him. Explosion might kill his friend. Kill Death from above triggers firing our pistol, and that hopefully will remove the Overwatch and set the mech up to to be killed. Moving over here to free up the spot. Which finally allows us with uh, Renvin to move up here. I'm trusting you here. Uh, just in case, let's fortify. I mean, we will get untouchable, but... In case 280% shots are missing. Good, we would have emplaceable. Uh, not a bad idea to maybe even go back down. One thing that we could do is, oh, that area suppression would be supreme. I like it. That'll give us two overwatch shots. And this here is hopefully a kill. Come on, we need focus. Uh, of course. Well. At least we got the focus. Good. Moving back down. We can always come back up here. Okay, I'll go. We're reloading.
and it's time for area suppression. That suppresses all four of them, making their penalty even worse. Or five even. Wow, such a good area suppression. And we are parrying. Because with their massive penalties, everyone, even if they would be standing in the open, is currently considered to be in full cover. Disorientation plus area suppression is brutal. Unfortunately, the first stun lancer misses. That guy just took himself out. Unfortunately, he has Shadow Step, which is interesting to see. Wasn't aware that they would have Shadow Step. Good, Chosen's action. Let's hope the other pack doesn't add, um, because I don't want to fight the Chosen and, like, 20 enemies. The Chosen just moved through here. It is downstairs, so it's going to engage next turn. It literally just moved through here. Which means it'll be hiding somewhere. Or even down here. Damn you, Assassin, for being so sneaky. Ooh, we're going to wait with the Kubikiri. That one is going to be spicy. Okay, a couple of overward shots. Yeah, I don't want to kill either of those, but this here looks fine. That's a kill. We're not going to trigger another pack. I should have moved uh, first because now it's triggering Overwatch attacks. I was hoping to find the ha ah, I was hoping to find the chosen which we successfully did and a pack of mutants plus a berserk to completely kill us uh. all right I ended up thinking through the situation and specifically whether or not I want to kill the Chosen right away or if we need to deal with the flank over here and I think we probably need to deal with the flank first and foremost so let's evaluate our options this is probably one of uh, the turns uh, which is going to make or break uh, the the whole uh, run here or the whole mission here so we can move up trigger all of the overwatch basically Kill the Stun Lancer. Mike could theoretically um, again area suppress all three of them or move up to here and essentially flank them. Problem is, he can't do both. Because he needs to reload and he doesn't have an autoloader. Mm. Okay. 
In terms of our sniper, yeah, I absolutely would love to hit the Berserk. We should try to kill something downstairs. From a grappling perspective, I was hoping we could grapple over here to get a better shot, which is not the case. Could move to here and simply flashbang. Not the worst idea. To be honest, if we were to flashbang this, uh, the Chosen is immune. But it would at least buy us an entire round. On the other hand, if we can injure someone, move up to here and go for Kubikiri, she's exposed, she could die. Could move um, basically specialist to here. Uh, that's a dangerous game, so I can. I don't know if you want to play that. We need the. Uh, we need him. On the other hand, we also need the damage, so we could move up to here. Pretty solid cover because we're not going to be attacked from this side. And we could chain shot. Unfortunately, she still has armor. Which is a bit of an oopsie. Yeah, let's do the no regret moves first. First, we're going to trigger the Overwatch. I guess that'll be okay. Thanks to Lightning Reflexes, none of them will hit. Good job. So I think we're going to go for rapid fire here, just in case. Let's go, buddy. Nice. Very nice. Unfortunately, we can't just move down and continue our onslaught, although that is what I would want to do. We can area suppress. Which would at least deal with the stun lancer, because the stun lancer is going lancers are going to lance, guys. I'm I'm always saying that, so he is going to move up. Our chances. Berserk. I am inclined to think that we are simply flashbanging him. Heavy Lancer, 70%, but that's not a guaranteed kill. If we were to take a 60% chance, I think that eye is the right way to go. Should have steadied our weapon. Yeah, that, I think that's the right way to go. I mean, of course, we could also just simply nah, take a shot into full cover. We don't want to do that. Upon reflecting, that here is the best we can do. Let's hope we get a kill. Doesn't look like it. Ooh. No longer a threat. Very nice. 
Good. That's a kill. And we need to use efficient action economy. That's why I'm not s steadying the weapon, but instead just killing the drone. Could move up and hit two of them with a flashbang. This here would flank. It would also expose us, so if he moves over here, we are essentially flanked. And he can very much move over here. Now, on the other hand, area suppression all of a sudden becomes less of an appealing option, right? He has Shadow Step. So he just doesn't give a damn. We could move to here, but that's dangerous. Very dangerous. I don't want to pull another pack. Singer suppression might be the way to go. I don't like it. The reason why I want to go here and move the specialist to here is if we can flashbang these guys with the specialist, I can take a chain shot on the chosen one. Fortunately, that's not going to shred. But this here would shred. Chosen's immune to explosives, but my main concern is getting rid of its armor for now. So let's do a no regret move. Moving up here, the full cover. Yeah, we'll, we'll get two instead of three. I'll take that. Good enough. We are using momentum in order to get back. And the question really is, where should we position ourselves? I mean, this here looks like an obvious choice. Um, let's move. move up to here or up here into half cover I think in short half cover might be the way to go and we're just leaving everyone just a bit uh, further back I think that's a good place good now it's time to get rid and shred some of the armor. She will not take damage, but at least we're going to take away her armor. Good, we do have untouchable, right? Right. And I'm wondering if we should position ourselves up here. Or maybe up here. Oh, I forgot this guy was burning. <sighs> yeah, he can't even flank us. So let's position ourselves up here. Be 
because uh, we still have the untouchable. Means the first shot onto Renvin will automatically miss. Okay, Mike, 50 50, good enough for me. Let's kill the trooper. Come on, Mike Bravo, we need you. That was good, that was good, buddy, but you should have hit him without grazing shot. First mutant starts moving up. Suppression doesn't trigger um, the untouchable. Okay. Your forces go weaker with every breath. That's untouchable. Yep. <clears throat> we gotta deal with the berserk. And the mutants. We gotta deal with everyone. Right, he continues to burn. That's fine. Ah, should have suppressed him. Good. Now for the one million dollar question. What is the Chosen going to do? Harbor Wave? Don't panic. But Berserk is okay. We have to expect our soldiers to feel the strain of combat eventually. Well, it would be great if you could hit her. I like the Berserk. He just keeps going for her. And thanks to her absolute imbalanced movement rate, she really managed to get away. Good, Berserk immediately ended. Good, we gotta deal with her. But she's too far away. Ah, that is so ridiculous. I was hoping we could grapple hook right over here. Fortunately, we can't. She's too far away. And we need to get the sniper into a better position. All right, first things first. Let's deal with the mutants down here. I think the ones over here pose the biggest uh, challenge. We're going to move in and uh, play this one aggressively. This here is to prevent uh, or to, uh, to draw out the first overwatch shot lightning reflexes and get rid of the suppression okay so a couple of things we need to get our 
we need to get our um, specialist back up. And we need to get into a better position with our sniper. Which unfortunately the only way uh, seems to be actually moving there. Good, we do have a couple of shots. I don't want to use uh, them yet. Can't melee attack the mutants, but we can very much melee attack this guy here. I'm just moving down. Wait a second, revive? Yes, please. I'm just moving down in order to free up the spot, but I realized I could revive him myself. Okay, that might be... I have a 0% chance for crit though. Hmm. So the flashbang here is our quasi backup in case uh, things are not working as intended. We are getting ourselves back up. And now let's do this here in a orderly fashion, shall we? Run and gun. Moving to here, which shouldn't trigger another pack. Hundred percent. Ah, too low. I want the hundred percent chance. That's a kill, unplaceable and untouchable, which is good for us. Now, I am moving Mike into the position. I know that I could have flanked him, but I rather want to have him near and dear to our position currently. This here is good enough. He's still burning, so killing him is, yeah, whatever. He could have stopped burning, technically. Okay, so what are we going to do about the three remaining? We still got one more shot here and a pistol shot. That's not an awful lot. I think we're going to tank him. Because we unfortunately can't get 
to the uh, to the mutum. Both of them will be flash pink though, so that's okay. We can do that right away. It's a no regret move. Might as well start softening up. The Berserk down there. We are at three focus. Perfect timing also to to summon the ghost, which we will need. And we got untouchable, so might as well move over here. I'm trusting you here. Everyone's in full cover. We haven't dealt with the chosen. That is going to continue being a problem. Good. They, they do have problems hitting. There's the parry. Yeah, that might have been a hit, so really not much I could have done there. Good, and now it's time for the Chosen. She's probably going to charge in with her sword attack. They won't last long at this rate. <laughs> oh, okay. Good, we're being blinded, which clearly sucks, but I mean, at least we didn't take any damage. Good, it is time for some retaliation. This round, we gotta kill the mutants, and we somehow gotta deal with her as well. How bad is the blindness? I mean, overall, it's not the end of the world, I suppose. But at the same time, we are essentially unable to see anyone. So that's a bit of a challenge. Can't remove the uh, blindness as well. I would like to take away some of the cover, <clears throat> but I'm not sure if our grenades will be strong enough to do that. We can try nevertheless. So we could position here in full cover. Doesn't matter that we're exposed to the Chosen. She could anyways just run up here and take a step at us. Alright, so we know that this here is the epicenter where she's standing. She's going to be immune against uh, the explosion, but maybe we can get rid of the tree.
You know, we could get all the way down to here now and at least take two shots with chain shot. It's a realistic possibility. The other option is ignoring her for now and dealing with the mutants first. Which, to be honest, might be the better play. Because realistically speaking, I really don't know if we can get her down in one turn. <clears throat> yeah, let's focus on the mutants first, decisions taken. Moving over here. <coughs> Sorry. Solid copy. And let's try to get the mutant down. Nice little critical hit. Perfect. Yeah. For a sniper, the whole scenario is worst case scenario because he can't hit anyone. We're using our second heal. Considering all of the circumstances, we're still fine. So we're going into flanking position again. And we could either take a 100% shot or gamble a bit. If we were to use a Volt, it'll hit both of them, okay. Fortunately, we can't really hit anyone whilst being blinded. Yeah, invert would be an option. Ghost unfortunately ends our turn. But it would be a nice way of dealing with um, the Berserker. I think what we're doing is we're continuing to hit the Berserk. Nice. It is stunned. Which means we can easily kill it next turn. And we'll take the 100% kill. Because we have Untouchable already. Yeah, let's not move too close. I think we're fine. Might as well move over here so that he could theoretically flank us. Steadying our weapon. Yeah, and Overwatch. The Assassin gets another turn. If I would put myself into her shoes, it's probably going to be uh, Prelate, which is the summoning of the priests, and then charging in with her sword. Or alternatively, Harbor Wave. Yeah, there's the attack he couldn't resist. But that is untouchable, my friend. Joke's on you. And it also means that he has just 
given up his position. So now it's time for the Chosen. Apparently she hasn't even moved. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Good. Our exit strategy is here, so we could theoretically go. Killing the last mutant. Yeah, and thanks to Rapid Fire. Oh, nice. We even got two pieces of loot. Perfect. Moving up here. I knew that she would be trying to sneak up on us. It's always the same sneaker redo that she's trying to pull off. Moving into a really, really nice position to give her a solid treatment. And let's go. Ah, unfortunately not uh, hitting her hard enough. Wait, wait, wait. We have a free reload, so it's not a problem. Kubikiri is a potential. Oh no, it takes two shots. But we can definitely chain shot and I would want to do that. We're close. Nice, critical f a strike for Brito. And another crit. Good job. Good. That takes care of the Berserk. And this here is probably a dead Chosen. Yeah, we're going with Chain Shot. Okay, ninety percent shot missed. I guess the ghost needs to wait one more turn. Fury charges in. And there's the kill. Good. So let's recap. We can get out of here, which makes the mission way more uh, at, uh, obtainable. Victory is at our grasp. If we're failing, we can at least extract everyone. Uh, we had a pack of eight to begin with, killed everyone, then had another pack of four or five coming in. Let's say 4, so that's 12, and the Chosen, that's uh, 12 to 13. Well, we got plenty of enemies ahead of us, I can tell you that much. Moving a bit back, just so we're not immediately triggering someone else. I would like to have some time to reload 
and just refocus. All right, next turn. Moving into full cover. Without pulling anything. Rolling. And this here will give us okay, really some time to reload now. I was wondering, it almost showed as if he would have seen, uh, it almost looked like uh, the ghost would have seen um, two enemies, but that's impossible. Good to go. Moving over here. Reloading with Mike Bravo. Back in business. On the move. And same here for Nasty. Continuing to steady weapon. Uh, the Templar Ghost can simply wait here. Yeah, and we're going to have some limited overwatch, that's fine. Got it covered. Okay, time for the next turn. So we got a Templar Ghost, which is, in my perspective, a perfect scout. But, but looking uh, the, at the time and seeing that we've just surpassed an hour, and this, it might be a really good cliffhanger, to be honest, guys. I know uh, it's disappointing, but there is only there's only so much I can do again uh, about the long-lasting videos. I'm trying my best to kind of com uh, uh, compress it as much as possible. Uh, we're going to pause here, and we're going to continue exactly at this position in the next episode as always uh, keep the thumbs up coming and if you like uh, leave a comment down below thank you so much for watching and take care